today's video, we will be talking about mixtures. We will be having an activity as well to answer the question, what happens to a material when mixed with other materials? So what is a mixture? What word can we deduce or get from the word mixture? Mix, right? A mixture is formed when two or more materials are combined. Your halo-halo is an example of a mixture. What ingredients are being combined when making your halo-halo? Very good! To make a halo-halo, they usually combine crushed ice, milk, and various ingredients such as coconut, agar jellies, boiled bananas, corn, sweet potato, jackfruit, leche plan, and ice cream. Milk tea is also an example of a mixture as it contains tea, milk, sugar, and even tapioca pearl. Mixtures could be a combination of materials of the same states or of different states. But for our discussion, we will focus on the mixture of solid and solid, solid and liquid, and liquid and liquid. This time, let's talk about the two types of mixtures your heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous mixtures are mixtures wherein mixed materials can be easily identified. This means that you can recognize, tell, or name the component materials in that mixture. Let's take a look at some examples. Look at this fruit salad in our slide. This is an example of a heterogeneous mixture because we can say that in this dish, there is banana, strawberry, orange, grapes, and apple. When you try to get some from it, there is a chance that sometimes you need to eat bananas, oranges, or grapes. We can still recognize what fruits are being combined in the fruit salad. This drink is also an example of a heterogeneous mixture as we can still see where the liquid is, the ice cubes, and the fruit. This mixture of oil and water is also an example of a heterogeneous mixture as we can recognize that the yellow one on top is the oil and the one below is the water. Some materials do not spread or mix when combined with liquid materials. Instead, they settle at the bottom or stay on top of water creating another layer. That's why we can say that this mixture of oil and water is a heterogeneous mixture. The oil doesn't combine or mix completely with the water. Homogeneous mixtures are mixtures wherein combined materials cannot be easily identified. This means that by merely looking at that mixture, we cannot tell the component parts. This is because the combined materials have spread evenly in that mixture. That's why it appears the same throughout or it is giving us a uniform appearance. Solutions are examples of homogeneous mixtures. A solution is made when a material, or which we call your solute, dissolves into a liquid or your solvent. Let's take this coffee as an example. Let's say it is made of coffee powder, sugar, and hot water. Can you still recognize or identify where the coffee powder is? How about the sugar? We cannot already point out where these are. This is an example of a homogeneous mixture. Let's say we take a spoon from this drink. We don't get the sugar, the coffee, nor the hot water alone. We could get them all at once. Same is true when we try to take a sip of it. This is because the materials have spread thoroughly, thereby mixing them all together. This is an example of a homogeneous mixture. Your coffee powder and sugar are your solutes, and your hot water is what we call your solvent. The solute is the one which is being dissolved, and the solvent is the one which dissolves. 
that is your solution. This bread is also an example of a homogeneous mixture. Do you know that there is flour, yeast, salt, butter, milk, sugar, and warm water in this one? Ice cream for ice cream! Do you know that this ice cream is made of condensed milk, cream, vanilla extract, and strawberry? This is an example of a homogeneous mixture as well. Oops! It's experiment time! Time to explore! Time to wonder! Now that you have an idea about mixtures, let's try to do an activity. Here are the materials which we will be needing. Here is your task. Observe the given mixtures and tell whether it is a heterogeneous mixture or a homogeneous mixture. Record your answer by checking the proper column. At the end of the activity, we will also be answering this question. What happens when a material is mixed with other materials? As much as possible, your observation table should look like this one. You may pause at this part of the video to copy this table. After copying it, you may play the video again to proceed to the activity. I guess you're ready. Observe carefully. This time, review and finalize your observations. Let's begin. Sand and stones. Cornstarch and creamer. Malungay leaves and water. Sugar and water. Salt and vinegar. Sand and water. Oil and soy sauce. Alcohol and water. Based from our activity, we have observed that the appearance of resulting mixture can help us identify whether it's a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture. The properties of materials do not change at all even when being mixed with other materials. Some materials spread out evenly and stay within the material they have been combined with while others do not. Some materials will dissolve in a liquid, while some do not. Some settle at the bottom of the container, 
or create a layer on top instead. Some solid materials spread evenly in liquid fast and some spread slowly. Some do not spread at all. Some needs stirring to be completely mixed. Mixtures are all around us. They are very useful in different industries and even in our daily living. We can find them everywhere. Your turn! Give 5 examples of mixtures and tell whether it is a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture. Very good! Congratulations for reaching this part of the video. I hope you had fun learning today. See you again next time. Same place, same channel. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe.